Will he or won't he? We're, of course, referring to President Trump. And will he or won't he run in 2024? For more on that, we're joined by presidential political analyst and host of Dick Morris Democracy, the one and only Dick Morris. Thank you for taking the time. Hey, Eric, Dick, are you there? You. Can we hear you? Will, will he or won't he? Yep, we... good to see you, Eric. Yeah. Hello, hello. Good to see you, too. Well, what do you say? Will he good. or won't he? Oh, he will. He will. Uh, you know how you can tell, Eric? Shake his hand, turn it over, see if there's a pulse. If there's a pulse there, he's going to run. <laughs> uh, and he's going to win. Um, my show, Democracy, that comes on an hour and a half, will explore how we can curb big, teps, big tech censorship of President Trump and the rest of us. Uh, he is absolutely going to win, going to run, and he's going to win, Eric. He's going to win because there's two elections. The Republican primary, which he can't possibly lose, no matter what happens. He could win that from jail if he has to. And the other is the general election, which a Republican can, it will, is guaranteed to win because of the terrible performance of Biden. So in a real sense, the future is laid out for Donald Trump. He is going to be the 47th president of the United States. Hmm. That's interesting. You know, Dick, very quickly, I, I made a prediction that Donald Trump will be the last Republican president. Now, I didn't say in the last term. I said the last Republican president ever because of the changing demographics, <laughs> the way the media and academ academia are following mm -hmm. and following suit through the whole You're wrong that about the that Democrats area. are pushing through. Very, very quick thought, if you don't mind. We, we're up against hard break, but yeah. this, your thoughts on that. Why You're, am I wrong? You're wrong about because the Latino vote is shifting. Uh, Trump got 10 points more Latino votes in 24, in 2020, than he got in 2016. Uh, 10 points more. Uh, in Florida and Texas, the Latino vote almost went Republican entirely. California is a little bit less Republican with its Latino vote, but if you take the rest of the country, I believe in 24, yeah. Donald Trump will carry the Latino vote. Yeah. Oh, listen, I hope so, too. And, and I agree with you. I'm, by the way, I've been told I am a, an honorary Latino. I love the Latino culture. I speak the language. I love everything about it. And there are several Latinos. Uh, Bobby Nanway, who owns and runs Goya Foods, has anointed me an honorary Latino. So I hope so. I hope our group there brings Republicans to prominence once again. Dick Morris, Do you have to we kneel really and appreciate have a sword your time. Sorry, on your we didn't shoulder. <laughs> Do you have to kneel yes, and have sir. a sword yes, on your Thank shoulder you. when you're named a Latino? I, I, I'm, I'm willing to do that. I'm always willing to do that. Dick, thank you so much <laughs> okay. for your time. Good. Buenas noches. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.